What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. This is the last sign. Passe. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's see what's going on with you. Let me put this here. Okay, I'm going to switch decks. Everything happens for a reason, Pisces. You might have to switch something. Alright. I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm going to pull two oracles, clarify, and then get some advice for you. Be honest with yourself about what something is versus what it's not, okay? Some of you might be getting a new job or starting a new job that's boosting your confidence. I feel like I told you this before, Pisces. Whoo, child, your intuition is on point, baby. When I'm recording this, um, when I'm recording this, the moon is in Pisces. So, yeah, your intuition is on point. Listen to it, Okay. Bottom of the deck is storm warning. It's about to get, you're about to, I just smell. Okay, so you're indecisive. You don't know which way to go. The universe is, is about to help you. And it's going to cause a storm warning. It's going to cause some type of upheaval, but you're going to know the way. You're going to know the way. And that's the most important. Let me see. Yeah, look at that victory. So you're going to be successful, don't worry. But I feel like you ask the universe, like, which way should I go? What should I do? They're about to, they're about to, they're about to show you, okay? All right. First card is anxiety. So you're stressing out about something here. You could be crying a lot when that's good. Release. If you're not crying, you should. It's good to release, Okay. What is this anxiety? Dolphin, embrace your inner child, have fun. This could be about an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Um, I do feel like this is also my leap of faith card. So there could be a lot of stress and you taking a leap of faith and you doing something for you. What is this anxiety in Dolphin? The world. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse and the Hierophant with the Devil. You have the World, the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Oh. Oh. Okay. So it could be that Pisces, um, you close out a chapter in your life here. Um, and there is something that is very abundant, um, that you're creating with someone else here. You're moving forward with this person after you closing out an ending. Um, I feel like there's a lot of love between you two here, but I feel like you're not telling anyone. I feel like you're keeping this a secret. Um, and I feel the anxiety is going to kick in here when someone comes back. Now, this person could be a Taurus, Aquarius, Libra. Um, Gemini, a, a, an Aquarius or a Capricorn doesn't have to be here, but somebody comes back here and you're going to know this, who this person is because you categorize this person as a liar with the King of Swords in reverse. Uh, you have the Hierophant. I thought like they're coming in to offer you some type of solid commitment. Um, this could be the person that you, that you close out a cycle with in the, with the world here. And, um, I feel like they're going to come in talking some big talk, probably the talk that you wanted them to talk when you were with them. And now they're coming here when you are, you know, building something good and solid with someone. Uh, you have the devil, the star and the eight of coins in reverse. So this person is obsessed with you. You are their wish. You are what they want here. But they're not willing to put in the work as with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Um they're still not willing to do what it what they got to do, right? Like you are their wish, you are what they want, but they aren't they're not willing to do what, what they got to do. Like yeah, the queen of coins, the page of wands and the high priestess. I feel like your intuition is going to tell you this here that they're not going to be able to nurture this the same, you know, they're not going to be able to nurture this here how they say. Could be a Aries Leo Sag.
So um, if this person does come in, Pisces, for you, it could be that this person, this person might not come in for you. It could be that this person is pulling on your energy hard, right? This person could be an anxiety and stress about you, about you guys closing out a chapter and you're feeling that you are, um, you are, look back to when the, it was the full moon when I'm recording this, the day after the full moon see what what happened around that time but you're gonna see this video when you're when you're supposed to anyway um but i feel like this person is tugging on your energy because again they're obsessed and they want you but they're not willing to put the work that it takes like somebody going to the store buying a plant and not wanting to take care of it not wanting to flower it to find out what's the best place for the environment of the plant you know what i'm saying it's just like they just want to have it there and that's what this person is doing and it could be anxiety because you're just like, oh my gosh, like this person doesn't even know that I got this going on over here, right? But if you wanted to know how that's going to end, that this is how it's going to end. I feel like they're going to come hard. They're going to come hard, okay, with the hierophant and the star. They're going to come hard. But at the end of the day, this person hasn't changed. I don't feel so, okay? The next card you have is attachment here. This isn't you. Somebody's realizing that they have some type of attachment towards you. They don't like it. They don't like it whatsoever. You have two cards. Protection, codependency, and sailors, not entanglement. I, I knew it. You were feeling this person's energy. I knew it. You're protected from this person, okay? This person could be tugging on your energy crazy. If you feel upset, if you feel sad, if you feel whatever, it could be them going through the emotions, going through you know, their own stuff and they're tugging on you because you guys are connected in some way here. What is this? Where's his attachment? See anime and sailors now. I feel like this person could be trying to come towards you. Um, but they're not gonna be able to make it all the way. Yeah, they're waiting. Look at this. Bottom of my deck is a three of swords in reverse until you get over it. Wow. Wow. Um, you have the three of wands, the knight of cups in reverse, the ten of cups in the hermit. Could be a Virgo or a Gemini. It doesn't have to be though. But this person, very arrogant energy. They're just like, well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Um, they feel like you didn't fulfill your promise, and they're like, well, Pisces still. Pisces said that they were gonna do this, so they have to fulfill it. You know, um, you do make them really happy here. You are their ten of cups here. And I feel this person is you haven't spoken to this person in a while. It could be nine days, nine weeks, nine months, I don't know. Um, but they've been waiting and waiting. Um, it's like they're waiting for you to get over the split, the separation between you and them here. But you're the nine of cups in reverse. Like they don't realize that you don't want this anymore. Like at one point it was your wish. At one point you did want it, but now you don't. And they feel like you still do. This person is delusional. I literally was speaking about that today on my Instagram. Um, I'm back on Instagram. If you want to go check that out, it's, um, I just post like spiritual stuff on my story. If you want to go um, description box below. But yeah, this person feels entitled to you in some way. If they're making you any promises, if they do come, if they do pull up and they um, are making you any promises, I don't feel like they're going to keep it with the Knight of Cups in reverse. I don't, I don't think so. It's like they don't know how, this person might not do well with rejection. And you could have rejected them. And they're like, no, Pisces can't. I'm the one that has to end this, not Pisces. Okay, so be careful with that. The next card you have is the seventh chakra here. So your intuition is on point. You are connected right now, Pisces. Eh? Pay attention, all right? You have will. Your voice matters. Speak your truth. Yep. Everything is temporary. Divine timing. <sighs> yep. So I feel like you're being guided to speak up. Um, like, speak your truth here. Your intuition is telling... You know what's up. Like you, You're going to feel secure in saying whatever that you have to say at this time here. There's something here that is, that is, um, that is only meant to be temporary. So what this is. could be a home situation what is the sandcastle whale and seventh chakra bottom of the deck is the ace of swords
You have the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Coins in reverse with the Six of Coins. I feel like there's somebody coming back. Or are you going back to someone? We are Mercury retrograde. So the past is coming back here. Um, if so, if you try to go towards someone from your past or they try to come towards you, it's not going to work. This person is going to come and giving you something. Like a gift or something. Um, or you can do that to them. But whatever that was, that was only meant to be temporary. And someone feels like it was meant to be forever. And it's not. It was only meant to be temporary. Um, it could be that you still have this in your space. It could be that you're still entertaining it. It could be that you're still going to give to it in some way, or you still are. And that's why you have the storm warning because the universe wants you to know wh who it's not and who it is. Okay. Because there's a, there's a, this energy brings in a lot of, um, negative energy, obsession energy, like, and they don't want you to go towards this person. This person is not reliable whatsoever. Okay, and that's the freaking truth. And you're about to find this out. Like, it's going to be made super clear to you which direction you have to take. Okay? But definitely do not go back to somebody who you walked away from. Um, that wasn't... That there's no potential there. You know, it wasn't growing. What is this dolphin and anxiety... You have honor your feelings. That's your card. How you feel matters. That's all that matters. Work through your feelings. Yeah. Don't ignore how you feel. And speak your world into being. They want you to watch what you're saying right now. Okay. Um, watch what you're saying. Let's speak about positive things here. And focus on how you feel about the situation here. You are going to be kind of upset. That you're going to have to close something out here. I do feel like you're not going to be happy about that. But they want you to embrace that. So that you know not to go back to it. You know? Yeah. Breathe through the tension. It's about to get crazy. Could be with a Scorpio. What is um, see anime? Sailor's not an attachment. You have know your worth. Taurus energy here. Yeah, like this person, you're you deserve better, and take a breather. Cancer it could be a Cancer or a Taurus. Yeah, you definitely deserve better here, and I feel like this person is gonna like really be pushy and like no, like what do you mean, like you know, causing emotional distress because they're mad. What is this whale and sandcastle and some chakra? No, you are loved. Libra energy and go wild. Leo energy. Know that you don't need this person. No, you don't need to go back to this person. Um, and they want you to have fun and be yourself at this time. Attend to the details. You got other things that you're working on that you're planning on. You know what I'm saying? You don't need this person trying to come back into your life and like trying to make it about them now. Okay, I feel like you're about to be in the spotlight if you haven't already. Um, something about a Leo. If you have that in your chart, I would go watch that reading, okay? Or if you're dealing with one. All right, Pisces, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.